Hello, good morning, good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Uh, this is going to be my last Thursday assembly this week. I know, I know you're all sad, you're going to start weeping into your cereal. Um, but we've come to the end of our Beatitude series of assemblies. So um, today will be the last one, but I hope you've enjoyed watching them and um, learnt something, got something out of them, made you think a little bit about some of the things that Jesus taught us about how we should act. So today I thought I'd bring you to the bottom of my garden because today's story involves, let's have a look, a tree and perhaps something to do with up the tree. I wonder if any of you can guess what my story this week is about or who my story this week is about. But before we start our assembly, I'm going to show you a picture and I want you to have a look at what you think you can see in the picture. Have a look at this picture. What can you see? Can you see two heads? Or can you see a vase? Sometimes it's difficult to see things from another, a different point of view, especially when people are concerned. We all have people in our lives who we get on with really well. And we also have people who we find it very difficult to get on with. Jesus' words from the Beatitudes encourage people to try and see others as he does, even if they find it hard to get on with them. Jesus taught us that seeing things God's way will help people to make wise choices in their lives. The main character in today's story is someone whom Jesus met, a person whom no one liked. As you listen, see if you can identify who makes the wise choices and sees things in God's way. Our story is about a man, a very little man, a lonely man. Zacchaeus was his name, and he lived in a big city called Jericho. Zacchaeus was a tax collector. His job was to collect the money that the people of Jericho owed to the Romans, who ruled the world at that time, and everyone hated him for it because no one likes to have to pay their bills. The trouble was Zacchaeus rather liked money and he used to demand more than he should so he could keep the extra for himself. And as he got richer, the people of Jericho hated him all the more and soon money became the most important thing in his life. Being rich meant that he could buy all that his heart desired and he often did. But as time went by, he realised that he was not actually happy at all. He had many possessions and lots of money, but they couldn't make him truly happy. Then one day, Jesus came to town. Wherever Jesus went, he found friends in unusual places. People called him the friend of sinners, and Zacchaeus desperately wanted to meet him. There were crowds of people everywhere, but no one would let him through to see Jesus as he passed. Zacchaeus couldn't see over the heads, so he climbed up a tree. As Jesus passed by the tree, he looked up and spoke directly to Zacchaeus. Come down from there, because I'm coming to eat at your house today. The next day, the people of Jericho couldn't believe the change in Zacchaeus. He visited every person he had cheated. He gave back not just the money he had demanded from them, but four times what he had taken from his own savings. And he also gave half of all he owned to the poor. But more than that, finally Zacchaeus was happy, truly happy, because he found something that was worth more than money. So. I wonder if you can guess why I came to the bottom of my garden to have a look at my tree. I'm just having a little look at my tree. No, there is no little man hiding up my tree. No Zacchaeus up there. But I wonder, following the story, who you think made wise 
choices, who showed real wisdom in how they acted and how they behaved. Now Zacchaeus was a man that nobody liked and I don't blame people in some ways for not liking Zacchaeus. He was mean, he was greedy, he was selfish, he took more than he should. He took more than what he was supposed to take just to hide it and be greedy for himself. But he realised, didn't he, in the story that actually money, having loads of things, having the latest thing was nice but actually, in the long run, it didn't bring him happiness. It didn't bring him contentment. It didn't bring him friends. He was a lonely man. And actually, it was only took Jesus to say, I can see beyond all of those things. I can see beyond the fact that this man is greedy and selfish. But I can see a man who is lonely, a man who wants to be loved, a man who wants to be liked and appreciated. And just that small act of uh, Jesus saying, Zacchaeus, come down from that tree. I want to go to your house for tea. The crowd couldn't believe it. Why would Jesus, why would Jesus, this amazing man, want to go to Zacchaeus' house for tea? Zacchaeus was horrible to them all. But Jesus saw through that. And just that act of Jesus wanting to go to Zacchaeus' house for tea was enough to change the whole of Zacchaeus' mindset, the whole of his personality. And he realised that all this time he'd been looking for happiness. He'd been looking for satisfaction in the wrong things. He actually needed to change his ways and think about being a better person rather than having so much money. It was Jesus' act of friendship that changed Zacchaeus forever. It was as though Zacchaeus had been put blind or couldn't see very well and put on a new pair of glasses. I don't know whether any of you have ever been to the opticians and put those funny glasses on to test your eyes and they put the different lenses in. Some look fuzzy and some look clear. It was a bit like that, that Zacchaeus suddenly went, do you know what, I could see clearly for the first time. And it was just that one small act of friendship from Jesus that made him see clearly for what seemed like the first time in his life. Zacchaeus knew that he had to do something. He had to act differently. He had to change his ways. And his actions and his decisions that following day must have shocked all the people of Jericho to go round and return the money that he had taken to return the money that had been um, taken that he shouldn't have taken. But not just returning the money, he'd returned the money plus four times. An act of generosity to show how truly he was sorry for the way that he had behaved. And he didn't stop there, did he? Zacchaeus didn't only return the money, he didn't only return the money fourfold, but he actually then gave up half of everything he owned and gave it to the poor. So this week's assembly is about seeing people in the wisdom, through the wisdom that God gives us. Seeing people for who God sees them to be, not just how we see them to be. And that's really difficult sometimes, isn't it? We look at people and we perhaps judge them or we look at them about how they've treated us in the past and we, we, we form how we treat them because of those things. And that is what all of us do. But I guess this story is about the fact that actually maybe we could ask God to help us to see people as he sees them. To have that wisdom in the way that we treat people, how we react to people and how we go about the actions that we do in our lives. I wonder who your Zacchaeus is. I wonder what little man is hiding up your tree. Now, obviously there's no little men hiding up your tree. That's just a phrase, it's a metaphor to say, actually, we've probably got some people, we've probably got friends, we've probably got family members, brothers or sisters, that perhaps we need to offer that hand of friendship. Perhaps that we have to need to say, come down from the tree, I want to go to your house for tea, just like Jesus did. I want you just to think for a few moments, maybe talk about it with your family if you are 
together watching this or maybe spend some time on your own in the garden or in your bedroom later thinking who is your Zacchaeus? Who do you need to offer that hand of friendship to? Now at this time that we're all still a bit locked down although we're beginning to be not locked down but we're still locked down it's all a little bit confusing isn't it but there might be some friends of yours that have felt really lonely that you perhaps haven't kept in touch with as much as you thought you would that perhaps are struggling a little bit or they're missing their friends or someone that you've just heard that actually uh, perhaps lives on their own haven't got any brothers or sisters you could just reach out and offer that hand of friendship, maybe a text, maybe an email, maybe an old fashioned letter that you could post to them, maybe something you could make and deliver it to their door. How can we, during this really tricky time, offer a hand of friendship to those people who need it, just like Jesus did with Zacchaeus? I hope you're all gonna make a wise choice this week. I'm gonna think about who that is for me. Who is my Zacchaeus and who do I need to offer a hand of friendship to this week? So we're going to end our assembly as we always do with a prayer and if you want to join in with me and if you agree with what I'm saying I'd love you to say Amen at the end. Dear God, thank you for the story of Zacchaeus and what it shows us about seeing people as you do. We all have people we know who are difficult to get along with. Please help us to see them as you do, to value them as you do, and act towards them in ways that are wise. Amen. Well, that's it. That's the end of our Thursday assemblies for this term. I hope you've enjoyed watching them. I hope they've brought you a little bit of um, thought. Uh, you know Mrs Hollenby and her deep thinking and her I wonder questions. A bit of thought, a bit of interest, maybe even a bit of a laugh, just laughing at Mrs Hollenby. Who knows? But I wish you all the best for the last few weeks of this term and I really, really hope that you have a fantastic summer and we cannot wait to see you all back together in our school community, our huge, great big family, um, where we can get back to whatever normal looks like but we can spend some time together so take care stay safe keep in touch with us we love hearing from you we love seeing your pictures your emails the work that you've been doing and the photographs of stuff that you've been doing that isn't work we love to um find out about those things because we miss you so take care see you soon bye